So we are just about to talk to House of Swag from Dublin, Ireland on Zoom and get to know the group, how they got involved, how they were inspired and also about their BGT audition experience. So let's log into Zoom and let's meet this Irish dance crew phenomenon. So thank you very much guys for coming on and it would be great if you could introduce yourselves first of all, one by one. I'm Kieran Doherty and I'm 12 years old. I'm Benny Sebagabo and I'm 16 years old. I'm Dara and I'm 14 years old. And I'm Kelly and I'm 12 years old. So the first question I have for you guys is how was the group formed and what inspired you guys to create this group? The group was formed, um, we did auditions for our group before, like, before we auditioned for Britain Talent, we danced for video competitions and we do like mega crew and promote mental health by true, true dance and we even like uh, danced at like udo worlds and then we auditioned for britain's got talent by auditioning for sure you guys that's fantastic um and you know i saw your we'll get onto your audition the experience of it in a little bit but i just gotta say first of all the audition was fantastic um i, I like i studied at like musical theatre acting at college and I, we did dancing as well uh, and I'm not usually a dancer but one thing I learned from dancing is every move has a meaning and I think especially with your guys audition I think every move had a meaning and that's what made it special for me personally uh, as well as the message you were sending out so uh, it was fantastic. Um, what was it like walking to a Britain's Got Talent audition because Britain's Got Talent is the arguably the biggest talent show in the world so how is it like walking to that audition and performing in front of millions of people? It's really weird because um, like we danced in front of like loads of people for competitions but we've never danced like in front of like Ant and Deck and all the judges that was really scary going on stage but I suppose we we're all really excited as well to meet everybody so it's kind of a mix between nerves and excitement yeah, I bet that audition was really daunting and, you know, one of the best parts of Britain's Got Talent, I bet, is meeting Anton Tech, who are just amazing presenters and such an inspiration for future generations. What was it like meeting Anton Tech? I almost died when they touched me saying, go on, like, good luck to you guys. Uh, it was amazing. So what was it like performing at the Britain's Got Talent stage and walking on there for the first time? Because, you know, Britain's Got Talent stage is one of the biggest in the world and that theatre full of millions and millions of people and those watching at home as well. I mean, it must have been really daunting for you. So how was it like walking on there and performing on that stage? It was like, it was like we, uh, I remember when we first saw it, all it said, it was like walking into our TV. It was like, just, it was like a dream. It was actually just like it was it wasn't like we were there really weird it felt really like ex it felt like really exciting afterwards because you felt so like overwhelmed so like happy so what would winning britain's got talent 2020 mean to you guys and what would you do with the two hundred fifty thousand pounds and also in terms of your act what would you do for the raw variety performance we definitely like stay with the team because that's the whole Point of our group and the whole point of like we do that a lot in the dance school um with the money i suppose we just like track the world spread our message as much as we can and like get yeah just get the message out that it's okay, to be okay. okay so we've now come to the entertainment section of our interview where me and the house of swag are going to be playing name that act This is the part of the show where I'll be playing a BGT themed game and today it's Name That Act. So here are the rules of the game for you guys and for House of Swag. Today's rules are, I'm going to be giving them a series of 10 questions and each one could be multiple choice, it could be three clues leading to an act and all they have to do is guess that act. Each one they get right, they get a point. If they get the name kind of right, or they get one part of the name right, they get half a point. So let's play. <laughs> name that act. So let's start with our first question, guys. So I'm going to give you three clues for question one, and they are as follows. They were a Britain's Got Talent 2016 act. They were a finalist on BGT 2016, and they're a dance act themed to a very famous sci-fi character. But what is the name of the act? Was it the Stormtroopers? Uh. 
The answer to the first question was, of course, Boogie Storm. Dara, you got close with Stormtroopers, so I'm tempted to give you half a point for that. But Boogie Storm is the full right answer. All right, then, guys. Question two. So this guy was an act. He's a finalist from Britain's Got Talent 2010. And the first opening lines to his final song were, Welcome to the Madhouse. But who is this dancer? Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. The answer to question two was, of course, Tobias Mead. I'd really recommend you check him out on YouTube, guys. He's a fantastic dancer and just an incredible sport. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never got that. <laughs> question three. Gonzo entered the BGT semifinals in 2019, but what instrument did he play? Did he play A, the triangle? B, the drum, or C, the tambourine? Yeah, it was the tambourine. Was it the triangle? I'm going to guess tambourine. So the answer, of course, was tambourine to question three. Kieran, same triangle. To be fair, I can imagine him playing the triangle. I think he'd be great at playing the triangle. I think the experience of the tambourine, you know, I think he's got that experience to take to the triangle industry. I think he'd be really good there. Question four. The three clues about this act are he's a BGT finalist from 2019 and he's a comedian who was Simon Cowell's Golden Buzzer act. But who was he? But I know him, I can't remember his name though. Yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say, I know him, but I can't remember his name. Was it like Michael? Oh. Oh. Was it Kojo? The answer, of course, to question four was Kojo Anim. Benny, you got close with Michael, so I was tempted to give you half a point to be nice, but um, no, it's Kojo, of course. Question five, guys. Who is this first series finalist, Damon Scott's act? Was he a puppeteer? Was he a comedian or a singer? Um, was he a puppeteer? I'm going to say puppeteer. Um, puppeteer. The answer, of course, to question five was he was a puppeteer. And again, just like all the rest of them, recommend you go and check him out. He was hilarious and one of the forefronts of this Britain's Got Talent series. Question six. A guy called Martin Crofts entered Britain's Got Talent in 2012. But which Doctor Who villain did he impersonate? Was it A, a Dalek? B, a Cyberman? Or C, an Ood? A Dalek. Dalek. I'm going to say Dalek as well. Yeah, I'm going to go Dalek as well. The answer, of course, to question six was Dalek. He was a Dalek impersonator. And again, I'd really check him out because he was one of the funniest auditions. Honestly, if they had golden buzzers back then, I would have slammed it at that time where everyone else pressed the red. It was unbelievable. So question seven. A group called Signature were in the second series of Britain's Got Talent and they finished in the top three. But were they A, singers, B, dancers, or C, comedians? Were they dancers? Yeah, dancers. Mm, I think singers. The answer, of course, to question seven was they were a dance act. Signature were fantastic dancers. Again, a good blend of Michael Jackson and Indian dancing. And I'd recommend you check them out because they're hilarious. Question 8. Complete the name of this football freestyler that was in the second series of Britain's Got Talent. Blank Lynch. What was his first name? Oh, I know this. Jeremy. Jeremy Lynch. I'm going to go with Jeremy too. Yeah, Jeremy. The answer, of course, to question 8 was Jeremy. You did get it right, so well done. I don't know. Yeah. Question nine then, guys. This guy was a singer and he won Britain's Got Talent 2011. His audition song came from the musical Chess. It was a song called Anthem. But what was his name? Who was the winner of BGT 2011? J. Jai. Mm. Jai. Jai. Jai McDowell. 
The answer, of course, to question nine, as you said, was Jai McDowell. So well done for getting that one right. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know if it was Jay. So, guys, it's the final question, and everything's on an knife edge. Everything to play for, and it could all be answered in one question. What was the name of the winners of Britain's Got Talent 2009? Diversity was it? Diversity. That's all the questions and by half a point. Benny is the winner. Congratulations. Thank you very much, guys, for playing Name That Act. I can't believe you got question 10 so fast, but yes, of course, it was diversity. So well done for getting that question right. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It was so good having House of Swag from Ireland on the show, and it's great that they gave up their time from Dublin to be here today. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching the first in a long-running series, hopefully, of Talking BGT. The aim of this series is to talk to past and present contestants and fans of the show from all walks of fame, from everywhere down the streets of the country, just to give you guys the entertainment you deserve in the comfort of your own homes. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I recommend you stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, and enjoy all the entertainment across YouTube and across all social media from all walks of life just to entertain yourselves over this lockdown period. Thank you so much, guys. Please give this video a like. Please comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Any negative comments, don't worry about it. I take it as constructive criticism. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Aaron Chandler. Thank you very, very much for watching the first in the long-running Talking BGT series. Thank you very much. Good night.